Peach here. Coming at you from my recliner this morning. Um, what I want to show you is over here by my, my recliner, so I decided just to start filming now. Okay. Um, yesterday... This is Minerva. Um, yesterday, while I was out, I dropped off um, that batch of newborn hats that I showed a little while back. Um, I met I met the gal who um, I will be dropping my donations off with. Um, she works for the Healthcare Foundation for Ventura County. Um, oh, I don't have their, I don't have the business card. Um, but they, they're kind of a, a liaison between the community and the area hospitals, um, just to help help the community and one thing they do is collect um, things that are needed for the NICU so um, and I, I had never uh, dropped anything off there I had dropped off a batch of hats last fall through my church who had done a um, uh, a charity event where they where the ladies got together for the day and and made things according to the needs of this foundation um but when i met the gal yesterday um to drop off the hats she gave me um how to instructions for things that they often that the hospitals often request so I'm so excited to have this um, because then I can make sure that my efforts are going toward the actual things that are needed. So this, <clears throat> these are the instructions for a crocheted, there's not a very good picture, graduation cap for um, babies who come out of the NICU when they graduate from NICU they get a little graduation cap. So it's crocheted with black yarn, and then you make the, it's called the mortar board, which is the, the flat square thing that goes on top of the graduation cap. And then you can make the tassel in either white or a color. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited about that. Looks super simple. Um, another thing they like to um, receive is a swaddle blankets, which there's just hemming. It's muslin fra fabric with a simple hem. Um, another thing is burp cloths, and there's instructions there. And I think there's one more thing. Oh, yeah, these... Um, Sorry about that. <laughs> um, I'll have to show you a little tip I have because, yeah, I'll show you a little tip I have as to why. Anyway, back to this, then we'll get to get to that. So these are little like five inch by five inch or six inch by six inch flannel hearts. Um, there it's two layers sewn together on the outside. And what they do with these is um, they give the mom of a baby that's in NICU the flannel heart to wear against her skin. And then once it has the mom's scent on it, they put it in the incubator with the NICU baby. Sorry about that. Um, I think she wants out. I'll let her out here as soon as I'm done filming. Um, so yeah, so little flannel hearts for that. Oh, this is gonna be so exciting because I do sew. So um, yeah, and and they they have fabric. The this this foundation will provide fabric. Um, so next time I'm in I'm in Ventura, 
I will probably pick up some uh, fabric so that I can sew some of these together for them. But I have started a graduation cap. Um, started this last night and then ended up going to bed because I got sleepy, but uh, that's the beginning of the graduation cap. So there's that. And then the other thing I wanted to show you, um, these are the seven inch by nine inch blocks that I've been making for Warm Up America. Um, they're in Texas. You make seven inch by nine inch blocks. I think you can either crochet or knit, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, I know you can. Um, this is 11 peel stitch, double crochet, single crochet, you know, one stitch in each stitch from below. Uh, and yeah, I'm just, I'm just making these out of whatever yarn um, I want to use up. And once I have enough, I'll send them in. And then the tip I wanted to share. So my, I'm filming on my phone and I have a, a ring thing on the back of my phone. That's how, that's kind of my handle. I used to have a pop socket, but then I tried the ring uh, thing and I like that a little better. So I have a crochet hook taped to my laptop, the, the back of the screen of my laptop. So my phone is hanging on the, on the crochet hook that's taped to the back of the <clears throat> screen of the laptop. And then I have a um, cookie sheet that I got from Dollar Tree um, that's the exact size of my keyboard that I place top side down. So it creates a flat surface that my cat can walk across and not mess up the keys on my laptop. So that's what that's about. Um, I don't wanna move the phone or anything because I'm not sure what, what would happen if I did that. But anyway, so that was the little tip that I wanted to share as to why my, why my cat was walking back and forth across there. But she wants out. So I'm going to get going. Um, thank you for watching and please give me a like if you like this video and please subscribe if you like my content. Have a wonderful day. Today's Friday. It's my youngest son's birthday. He's 21 today. Um, his plan is to go, um, what did he say I was going to do? He, he, he has a girlfriend, but she works. Um, she usually works Friday nights, I believe. <clears throat> I think he said he was going to go go-kart go-kart riding driving anyway um yeah it's going to be a non-rainy day and weekend according to the forecast last night happy about that I need to get out in the sunshine uh the sun is shining right now so uh I do have a client this afternoon um so I will be getting out for that and yeah, I made it to the laundromat yesterday, so that feels good to have that done. I've got a few dishes to wash, uh, no big deal. Um, get those done today, and I'm going to be making this graduation cap. Um, yeah, just little things. i got to go to the pharmacy, stuff like that. But anyway, thank you for watching. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Happy crushing. Bye-bye.